Hello, friends and neighbors. Welcome to another production of the program. Here we are on TV once again. Once a day, every day. Turn on the machines and live forever. Look, I'm alive. You ever been alive before, viewers? I've been alive. I am alive. I made it all the way around here to Tuesday, the 15th of December. Who would have thought that I would have made it this far? Uh, it's uh, the daytime. It's kind of early today. I woke up at... Uh, uh, Early times, and we're doing this thing where we do the show at 1 p.m. to uh, 1 to 2. I'm starting a little well. I did 1.10 today. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm playing it by ear. Uh, you know, in the morning. Yesterday, the program at 8.45 with uh, Heather and Jabe's. And John Webster was there for a lot of it. Mark was there for a lot of it. We we're talking. We we're living, doing things. Um, John Webster seems to be doing pretty good. He's got a Santa hat and a Seahawks hat. Two hats, John. And so we call you Two Hats John. Uh, and uh, Heather and James were inexplicably sad, I guess, uh, feeling things, I'm explic explicably, inexplicably, explicably, um, you've been explicably, a spickle, a spickable, despicable, yesterday after the program, I, uh, Got onto the, the Heather's show, the you know, a little bit. <laughs> All of life is on the on the screens now for me through the thing. So if I wanna do a thing, it's through the screens. We got a message from Mr. Ginsu. Um, on the you now, talking to people from wherever, doing this thing, and then, uh, you know, did some sleeping, did some, uh, back, I came back, did some sleeping, that's it. And I woke up, I came out here. I stirred it up. Maybe I should have made breakfast. Maybe I should have done anything else. But instead, I just kind of crawled out of bed and came down right here and did this thing. And this is how it's going to be, I think. I think I'm going to start making breakfast at night. I don't know if it's how, what, what kind of, what kind of life is this going to be. If I uh, crawl out of bed, come down here, do this thing, then do other things. But uh, we'll see. We'll see how it is. I might go back to 845. Might stick around to this. I'm going to try making breakfast in the morning. 1 p.m. should not be an early thing, but it kind of is. And we'll wake up 1 p.m. to get here. Uh, I've been smelling things. You ever smell the thing? You know, before I used to, if I caught a smell, I would think, oh, no, I'm smelling things. I'm too close to that thing, or I don't want to be smelling that. There's pieces of things going up here. Like sometimes people have a a product, and you're like, "Oh, I can smell this this product on you." But now, if I get a whiff of anything, I'm like, "Ah, oh, smells! Smells are a good sign. Smelling things is health." 
I never quit Smells to Health before, but now I'm quitting Smells to Health. I'm like, ooh, this is a smell of health. So, for the past couple of weeks, it's been the winter, or not the winter, but, you know, cold outside. And I'm getting some of the usual tightness and uh, uh, congestion from that comes with the winter time and I'm like, oh no, maybe it's the virus, but I think it's just the congestion, normal winter congestion, because I'm still smelling things, and I'm feeling mostly fine, and how, how are you going to know, you know, I don't think so, and I, I don't have a temperature, I don't, <laughs> I haven't been coughing, none of that, so, like none of the actual symptoms. It's just always on the back. I always am thinking, thinking that it's going to happen, I guess. Um, I don't know what we're doing last year. Maybe I should have gotten out the 2018 tape or 2019 tape this whole time. We could try to like catch up with 2019, but it's really almost the end of the year. So it's a little late to try to catch up on 2019. I guess we're going to be checking up on 2018 or 17 next year. Next year... Only 15 days and two weeks we're going to be in next year and that's something uh, of course we spent most of this year down here and now that we're entering close to the end of the year it's like uh, well what is time anyway what am I doing with my time uh Maybe I should have go places. I didn't go anywhere in the last, like, since I was there, came back and came back here. So sometimes when that happens, it's, there's less to do. Oh, we got a message. Mr. Ginch's message is a long one. Yeah. Um, how come the first time I called... It fucking went, oh, put in your pen and fucking do whatever. What the fuck? Put in a pen. Anyway, I heard somebody in fucking Centralia fucking falsified test results for fucking marijuana. Are you a stupid fucking cunt? You some sort of stupid fucking cunt? God damn! Who the fuck are you that you're gonna fucking start falsifying bullshit over and marijuana? Uh, what the fuck? You are what is considered a super cunt. You're trying to fucking get marijuana. You're fucking, fucking me over when you do that. You're fucking every fucking one of us who smoke marijuana over when you do that. And, and uh, did, yeah, I'm going to shut the fuck up right about now, but you're going to cut, I hope they fucking charge you and fucking... Drop a fucking shit ton of fucking fines all over you. Let you do a little bit of jail time for that shit. Cause that's bullshit. Bull fucking shit. It's fucking legal. Why you got to fucking try to fucking fuck everybody over if it's fucking legal, motherfuckers? You fucking stupid cunt over there in Centralia. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Don't make me come over there. Cause if I come over there, you ain't gonna fucking be happy. Just like that fucking teacher fucking I'm searching for. She ain't gonna be fucking happy when I find that shit. Motherfuck. Don't, don't know. fuck with me. Anybody who takes over? Yeah. Don't do what they did. Do your fucking job. It's an easy fucking job. You don't gotta lift 55 fucking pounds. <laughs> you gotta lift fucking... Uh, Graham, shut the fuck up, you fucking whore. Uh -huh. God damn. Not, yeah. 
Uh, I'm talking yeah. to whoever fucking did the fucking falsifying the fucking kiss my ass, motherfucker. What's the false? I don't really understand. Uh, I'm, you're right. Fine. That's all there is to it. You falsify and fucking me. Uh, Mr. Gibson got timed out. The mailbox belonging to three six zero one one five is full and cannot accept new messages at this time. Please try again later. Beep, Mr. Ginsu, I filled up your voice mailbox. Goodbye. Goodbye, robot lady. Uh, I filled up your voice mailbox, and. I don't know if you're going to be getting missing messages. I don't think anybody else is going to be trying to call you too much. But well, who's leaving voice well anyway? <sighs> yeah, you call us back yeah, about 50 minutes today. Uh, what's going on in Centralia? Yeah, somebody, like, said that they were doing marijuana. And they're like, you tested positive for marijuana. Like, I never did marijuana. I never did it. Uh, I don't know how that's going to work out. Why would they do that kind of thing? What's the motive? Centralia, that's, uh, what, Yardbirds? They're doing tests over there at Yardbirds. Testing if you're going to pass and gonna get a construction. If you're fit to do construction or anything else. What kind of tests are they doing? You think you should, the chemical makeup of your own blood or... Urine should be your own business. So I'm going to take a blood test from you and say, why don't you mind your business? This, uh, the, the contents of my urine are my business. That's what you can say to them. Well, I don't know. Should I call John Webster? I think he's got a different, he's got different people there. They won't know the difference. And get them on this message to the future. I think it's queued up already, probably. Oh, the number is busy. Wow, John's uh, talking to somebody else on the phone. Clearfield House, this is Kobe. How can I help you? Hello, this is Kenny from TV. Is John Webster available? This is Kenny from where? From the TV show. John knows me. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Let me, one second. <clears throat> hey, John. Kenny from the TV show is on the phone. Talk to him, or do you want to continue? Do you want me to ask him to call you back in a little bit, John? Either it's the Zoom thing or on the phone. Which one? Okay, I'll let him know to call you back in a little bit. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, he can get on the meet. Do you know how to use the meet? What's that? You know how to use Google Meet? He was on last night. He was on Google Meet. Okay, yeah, he's just doing a uh, Zoom, an activity over Zoom right oh, now. Okay. So yeah, and that's done at either two or two thirty. So I'll have him. Okay, I'll, you I'll, maybe I'll call back at like two ten. Okay, perfect. Or right, okay, bye. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, John told me about his thing yesterday, actually. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know about it. His grandma making the calls, doing the thing. God damn it, I said stop calling. <laughs> yeah, is that Michi? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>
Somebody keeps calling you over and over again. Haha, <laughs> Michi? It's not Michi today. Who is it? Uh, it's a robot that says that they're from Apple. Yeah. And I need to renew something or something, and then I uh, try to call the number back. And it was an actual 360 number, and some guy answered, and he said, Hello? Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> some random guy. Yeah, then what? He said, I didn't call you. <laughs> it was a robot? from the So it was like a weird like outsourced number somehow? I don't know what's going on, yeah. It's a, it's a robot, but it's calling me from random landlines in the in the area. Whoa. Hackers. Yeah. What, what's I think it's hackers trying to get our information. Yeah, what is the robot saying? Uh, there's something wrong with my Apple account, and it needs to get fixed. And then they want, they're like, they, they like ask you for your information, or... No, it was really weird, actually. So I answered the phone finally when uh, the last time it called, and then I got sent to a call center, and I started yelling at them, yeah. and they hung up on me. Okay. And then I called back the, the most recent number that was on the phone, and it was a, a local number, and some, then the guy answered. It was, it was really weird. I don't know what's going on. And they're calling you back from different numbers every time? Yes. Whoa. All local? Yeah, they're all 360 numbers. I, I don't know what's going on. But they're all different numbers, but they're all the same thing when you answer? <laughs> uh, I didn't, I only called one, but I didn't try to call the other ones. I don't, I don't, I think, uh, am I dreaming? Maybe. I think you got to wait for, when, when did you wake up? Did you just wake up? <laughs> Is it a dream right now? You gotta wait. You you were yelling at the at the people on the at the call center. <laughs> not not yelling. I was just like, hey, why do you keep calling me? What's the what's going on? Yeah. And then they just hung up. And then, yeah. They didn't say like your Apple account needs to be updated. Could you please? It sounded like a call center because there was like. It sounded like a call center with a bad connection, and then I kind of hung up. I I don't know what the fuck is going on. I'm yeah. pissed. I don't use Sorry. Apple. I don't use Apple. I don't really use Apple either. I'm just trying to watch YouTube. Yeah, that's weird. Well, I want to get those calls. Uh, I, I guess I would take those calls on the program if anybody. But uh, yeah, I don't know what they're doing. That was the that was the weirdest thing though. When I called back the number and it was just an actual person. Like what? Hello. Uh, yeah, and you're like uh, uh, Apple. <laughs> Apple. Yeah. Is they were like, no. Uh, <laughs> is that you, <laughs> Apple? No, I don't know. He, he said, I didn't. I said, did you call me? And he's like, no. <laughs> no. <I'm> just, <laughs> who are you? Did you say, who are you? <laughs> no. You just hung up? You just hung up? I was like, okay, I'm sorry, bye. Mm, okay. Are you Apple? <laughs> are you an Apple robot? Apple! <laughs> What the? F Are you stop calling me? Are you Apple? Are you Apple hey. robot? <laughs> They're not Apple robot. Uh, well, now I'm gonna call my robot from old people, and all I'm trying to do is absolutely nothing. Yeah, all you get is all these phone calls. What are you doing? Nothing. Yeah. Where's Grandma sleeping? Yeah. She what? She can sleep all day, huh? Yeah, I'm just confused with all these phone calls. Uh, did they wake her up? Yeah, she's got two phones in her room. And she's like, oh, why are you waking me up? <laughs> uh, when did they start she calling? Like 5 o'clock in the morning sometimes. They call what? Mitchie called one time at uh, 6 in the morning. Why? Because she's a psycho. And then you told her not to call it so early? Or at all? Yeah. That time I, saw, I started yelling at her and said, I, I gotta yell at everybody now. I'm all angry. Yeah. Why? Why? I don't want to be angry. I'm not trying to be angry. Stop calling. And then she. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Yeah. That's a good one. Uh, um. Yeah. People get they start laughing. They get too confused, and they they go to laughter. 
Yeah. Yeah. Um, what, what's Michi doing? How, how's she doing? I don't care. Yeah? You don't talk to her? No. Never, Grandma never talks to her? Grandma will answer the phone and say, why can't we go out to dinner? To you? Mm-hmm. Michi says, let's go out to dinner. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. Nope. <laughs> Michi calls Grandma. And Michi says, let's go out to eat dinner. And Grandma says, oh, that sounds like a good idea. Mm-hmm. And she says, Andrew, hey, take Michi out to dinner. Mm-hmm. She says, no, Grandma. Restaurants nope. are, no restaurants are taken inside. Yep. Wow. That's right. I wonder how Michi's home is doing. Lots of the homes around here are not doing too well. <coughs> yep. Yeah. Well, you know, put grandma in a home. That's good. Put grandma in a home. Call me right now. What the apple? Looks like it. Can you uh, can you patch us in? I don't know. That. Oh. What's what's the number this time? <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, Andrew's going to hang up and go talk to Apple, I guess. Oh, I could have recorded a message of the future with Andrew, but now I didn't do it. Uh, I want to know what's going on with Apple. Maybe Andrew's going to call me back. Okay. Well, today's Tuesday. Should look at 2016. Uh, I was trying to cue that, or maybe I did, or I did cue it. I cued it already. Secure. Uh oh, where's the audio? I gotta hold on to the, the antenna. Uh-huh. Talking to Yellowfellow on the phone. Hi, Yellowfellow. It's the current year. <laughs> Yellowfellow's eating tofurkey. Dan um, Dobler talks to us. I got to hold on to the, the antenna Carl to get the died. thing to stay Carl crazy. Died. Carl's missing again for day two. Are you there, Carl? Where, Carl, are, where you? are you? It's us, 2016. Died. I almost said 2017. It's getting close. We're almost into 2017. It's the current year. If almost. you're in 2017, it's, you're almost going to go to 2018. Think about that. Oh, messages on TV. Thanks, yellow fellow. Hello. Bye. Hello. 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 How'd it go? Uh, I got connected to a call center and I talked to an Indian guy. Yeah. And I told him that stop calling me, and he he demanded my name. So I I so, as I told him my phone number. And he's like, I need your name. And I was like, I'm, I don't know why you're calling me. I'm not going to give you my name. Uh-huh. And he said, I need my, I need your name. So <laughs> I, said, my, I said, my name is Smith. And he said, okay, it's been removed from the call list. Oh, yeah? And that's what happened. Smith, huh? Smith. He's like, my name is Smith. Yeah. What is your name? What is your name? <laughs> yeah. Like, fuck you. I didn't say that. I said, I'm not going to tell you my name, and I don't know why you're calling me. Yeah. That's what yeah. I said. Uh, <laughs> he said, I need your name. I said, oh. <laughs> yeah. People from India. I don't know. What the fuck? 
I, I don't think I ever gave Apple my uh, grandma's phone number. Yeah, I think with the landlines, then they have a more access to uh, call you than the phone, cell phones, or, like, I have the internet phone, so you're yeah. more susceptible to getting those. Do you get any other, any other like, uh, calls like that? No. Plus, it's a bit... Well, kind, of, kind of, like, random, we get, like, maybe once a week or something. Yeah, I've I've picked up a couple at Grandma's house over the years. I think once you have a number for so long, then it just they, you're on these lists and stuff. Yeah, it's a pretty old number. I like to talk to them. That's what I do. Yep. I mean, I just I, I maybe I've been on the program for huh? It was weird though. It was an actual Apple company or something. Yeah, it was probably some scam. I I I always like when they call. And I say, like, how are you doing? And then they're like, well, I need your name. I need you need ginger apple. I say, what would you eat for breakfast? Yeah. And then they're like, uh, I got to get my number, your number. Well, first, t- t- tell me about yourself. I want to know. And then and they're like, well, I'm like, well, I'll buy your thing. I'll buy your thing. But first, tell me what you ate for breakfast. And then, and then eventually they're like, uh, I got to go. And then I say, mm-hmm. no, where, where, where are you going? I want to talk to you. You know? Yeah. That's kind of like what's happening to everybody on the program. Yeah. Why are you asking me what's for breakfast? I got to get out of here. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. Why are they allowed to call us? Yeah, they're calling you. That's not That's not right. Well, let's see if it works. How often they yeah. were calling you every... every a lot, huh? And it was Apple robot again? They called like three or four times in one hour at least. Yeah, and then it was Apple robot again, huh? Yeah, just now it was. It so was not a 360 number. It was? And it was from India. Yeah. And then you called... And it says, it says it's cell phone WA. What? They're hacking. That's weird. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. It's really weird, actually. I can't look at it because you're on the phone, but yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, I'm pretty sure it says... How'd uh, they get caller in? ID says cell phone WA. How'd they get in there? I don't know. That's weird. Why are they doing that? I don't know. Yeah. Why do they want to know my name so bad? Oh, why do they want your name? Well, they're first... They get, yeah, they got a... They're trying to, um, I mean, match you up with the, with, like, the number and the name, and then they're going to f- try to call you again? Mm-hmm. What are they going to call you again and say, hello, this is a message for Smith? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I, I don't care. I don't want, I just don't want them to call me anymore. Yeah, next time to talk to them. Say, what do you eat for breakfast? Where are you? What do you? What's your can, preferences? They call me back again. I will. Call, I'll do that. Yeah. Uh, I will record me- message of the future. Hey, uh, future, it's just the past. Hey, future, did you get the vaccine? Andrew's getting calls from Apple, fake Apple, weird hacker cell phone thing. It's early. It's Tuesday. I'm doing the 1 p.m. thing again. Okay, bye, future. You eat breakfast? I'm eating Pringles. Pringles for breakfast? Uh-huh. What flavor? Barbecue. It's pretty good. Uh, purple? Purple. Yeah. You got, uh, Pringles are very... You got to drink water. You drinking water? Nope. Pringles are very dry. Yeah. Yeah. That'll make you sick. You're going to get sick. Stop eating Pringles for breakfast. Pringles and vodka for breakfast. Oh, yeah? You got vodka, too? <laughs> Do you? Maybe. You wake up? You waking up and drinking right when you wake up? Because Apple is pissing me off. <laughs> yeah. Makes you, makes you drunk. You're going to uh, get 
sue them. Tell them to make you boozer. It's my day off. Oh, is it? You have the whole day, huh? Yeah. Oh, I should have could have called later. Yeah, I'm doing this 1 p.m. thing. Oh, yeah, we both got Tuesdays off, huh? You got Tuesday off? I got Tuesday off, too, yeah. But I'm doing the what show gonna, early. What? What are you going to do today? Um, I'm reading the Obama book. So, read. Read all day. That's pretty good. Hide. That's, that's how... Yeah, I'm reading the Obama book. I thought you were... You didn't finish it yet? No, it's really long. <laughs> I guess it's like 800 pages long. Wow. I'm only like 20% into it. Well, he's president again, basically. Officially now. Why, wow, because of Biden? Yep, Trump lost, officially. Yeah, Trump lost officially, but he's still fighting. There was shootings. Um, I yeah. Obama was only only in the Senate for one term, but Biden's been in the Senate for like a million terms. Mhm. Mm yeah. Did you know that? Did you know that Obama was only in the Senate for four years before he was the president? No. I thought he was. You know, they call him senator, but he was only the senator for one term. Wow. Well, yeah. Trump. Trump was president. Well, Trump had no experience at all, political experience. Yep. But now he's, uh, I guess he's out, but he's still the president for uh, another what, two, two weeks or? Over a month. Over a month? He still gets some of January? Uh-huh. No. Oh. Well, he's being crazy. What day is today? Today is the 15th. Yes, till the 20th. What? Why do they not just do it at the beginning of the year? I don't know. Oh, what is he going to do? What's he going to do for the next 20 days? Apparently he's killing people on death row. He's killing people? Mm-hmm. Is he allowed to do that? He's carrying out the first federal capital executions in years. In, like, decades. What does that mean? Like new people, or he's deciding who who gets to live and die? I guess I don't know why, but he's doing that for some reason. He's killing people on death row at the federal level, and that hasn't been done in decades. They're already on death row. Yeah. He's killing more people. He's trying to kill. He's trying to kill them all, as many as he can. <laughs> yeah, he already killed so many people. He's, He's like, going to do it more. Might as well double down on it. Mm -hmm. He's like, instead of trying to help anybody, he's just killing them. Oh, yeah, man. Yep. But they're already on death row? Yes. So maybe but he's just speeding up the process of them dying? Like instead of Well, you're all like on death row, and then you get um, the notion like, yeah, you're going to get executed now. Presidential order. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it finally happened. Some guy said, today's the day. Yeah. I mean, people live on death row for years. Yeah. Uh, and then they, it's real slow, but... That's, he, yeah, you, you can't just, like, I, mean, I thought the president has a, par, like, part, you can pardon people. But I don't know, you can execute people, too, who you decide. I guess there's a capital, but there's a federal, or not federal level, I don't know, uh, what do you call it? I guess it's called federal level capital punishment, right? Yeah, well, he's got a big book of people on death row, and he's like, this one? Yeah. This and one? It hasn't happened. The president hasn't done it. I guess what that means is that it's been up to the states up until recently. Like, the president has always had the power, but he never did. <laughs> but now, now he's doing it. I he's don't know. Like, it sounds like Trump's, like, talking to some, like, advisor guy. And he's like, well, what can I do? This is like what I do with a Google Home. 
What do I have? What kind of powers do I have left? Oh, I yeah. Some guys. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right, let's do that. Yeah. What can I do that I haven't done yet? I gotta use up all this power before it's over. Yeah. Yeah. You should kill. He could kill. I mean, he could. I don't know about. He probably killed war people already, but he could do more wars. I know, like, <laughs> at some point they're gonna be like, no. He's like, I declare war on the whatever, you know? Like, maybe he's trying to pull some, like, uh, like, he's, he, like, is going to remove his rubber mask and actually be, like, a reincarnation of Hitler. And he's like... <laughs> that's, that's a pretty good bit. I'm, I was watching, I'm, I was watching, you know who Mark Norman is? No. No? He's a comedian. Uh, I think he holds the record for most shows or something. In the, I don't know. I don't. Know. It's, uh, he 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 uh, he's a comedian, and he's pretty funny. I don't know. I was watching a video of him on YouTube, and he was talking about how to put a bit together. That was his bit. What was it about bits? No, it was a podcast. I was watching. Oh, how to. How to talk funny stuff. Yeah. You get an idea, then you put, have a build up to it. Actually, I, uh, what was it? I think what you just said was a good idea for a sketch, actually. What was it? It what, was. That, that Trump has a rubber mask and he takes it off and he's actually Hitler and he for his mask? No, no, it was Trump talking to Alexa because he ran out of ideas and he's only got. Time oh, no, no, he's not talking That's to Alexis. That's what I do with my, I have the Google thing. And I yeah. so I go to, I go on the internet and I say, hey, what can this thing do, you know? What can Google, okay. Ho what can Google Home do that I don't know about? Uh, but, so actually, you know, the, that is uh, the opener of the bit, okay? And then, and then the actual bit is, if yeah, you do, if you do a stand up and you and you your stand up is based on how to write a bit by this guy, <laughs> what? that's probably pretty awful. <laughs> that's not what it is. He's just talking about. I'm. I'm. Uh, he was talking about bit. Anyways, how to write a bit? Um, we have a fully formed bit just now that you said your your opener is. You do this. And that's like Trump, that he acts that way, and then the punchline, what was the punchline? And then, so I, I, I'm like, I, you know, so I have the Google Home, and then, I don't need this guy to tell me how to do a bit. <laughs> I'm doing I'm that. Saying, I was just saying that I was watching YouTube. Oh, I'm doing bits naturally. Yeah, I know, and I'm writing it down. It's uh, a good idea. <laughs> you're writing it down, and you're going to go do some stand-up? Yep. yep. I don't like the I don't like stand up that much. I think the program is better than the stand up because I'm just like saying this stuff. I'm thinking about the stuff, and they're like, "Hey, that's pretty funny," or something. I'm like, "Well, I don't know," but uh, it's not a bit. At least not a bit, you know. You're just saying things, but um. What's the punchline? What? What's the punchline? So I am uh, I I say I've been I got the Google Home thing, and I want to know what it can do. Yeah. So I've been using it just as an alarm clock or whatever, but then sometimes I go on thing and I say like, what, what new things can I do with this thing? And I don't know about it. And then I was thinking about the president and oh. how he's what? He's so crazy, and he only has a few weeks left, and he knows he's gonna be out. He knows. You know? Well, huh? Yeah. He knows. He's just trying to get the money from people right now. Uh, he's just trying to like keep saying that stuff with people with some of the money, but then he's like asking his people, his advisors. He's like, "Hey, what can I do as the as the president that I couldn't do before?" And you are. he's so he, they told him he can kill people, but really, I think he's like gonna just uh, actually uh, start uh, try to start a concentration camp. <laughs> all right, all right, I'll I'll try it. Here we go. Uh, you know, I was uh, just thinking about uh, looking at my Google Home and all the different things that I can do, you know? 
I was like, uh, I started thinking about how, you know, the, the president's only got a certain amount of time left in his presidency. You know, maybe he's wondering kind of about how, like, what well, he's got left, you know? Maybe he's, what did he do? Uh, I don't know. Almost had it. Damn it, almost had it. I had it. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm condensing it down. Oh. I'm trying, trying to condense it. I don't think you want to condense it. I think you want to stretch it out for as long as possible. No, you got to use every word got to be in the right place. No. Every word. No, you have the ideas and then you add as much as you can in there. <laughs> no. Then you're stretching it out for no reason. Yeah, because you want the joke and then you say, once, if, if it's like a small joke, it's better if it's like a really... You're trying to get... Small setup. It's like the moth, you know the moth joke? Yeah. It's like, yeah, you want it really long. No, but that's that's different. Well, the whole point is is that the joke is bad, so you stretch it. But it's both. The joke is going to be bad. This one is good. Oh. You had a good joke. It, right. and it's, I think this one should be shorter. Yeah. But really, I think he's going to be, at one point, they're going to be, if he's going to be right now, um, mm. he's going to be like, hey, uh, I want to start a concentration camp, or I want to start a war, and they're going to be like, ah, no, no, <laughs> like, even though he, like, technically can, or maybe, like, legally. Yeah. But they're just going to be like, ah, you're, no, no, you're not doing that, like, we're going to wait, you're almost out of here, like, you can't actually do this anymore, we're just going to say, like, I know, like, maybe by the law you can do that, but. You're just pretty much not going to stay here for a while. I'll babysit you for another couple of weeks until <laughs> you're out of here. Yeah. Um, yeah. How are those Pringles? How many did you eat in one sitting? I don't know. I, I can. Once you pop, you eat them all until you're sick. Yeah. Isn't that the, the slogan? One time... One time I was in the break room at my work, and I watched this really fat lady eat two cans of Pringles at once in 15 minutes. Oh, my God. Was she, did she eat one can at a time, or is she going for both cans at once? One after the other. Oh, Jesus. How fat was she? Really, really fat. Like, a ball. Oh, my God. What is she, what is she what's her job? Cashier? Her job, her job was, she was a manager of some kind. She got fired like over a year ago. What? For what? I don't know. Corporate fired her. Oh, okay. Corporate fires people randomly. Oh, uh, yeah. That's what, if you're not doing the numbers? Yeah. Was she like a transplant? But she, uh, how do you do that? That's what I always think. If you get so big, at some point you have to like work at it. Yeah. Like, you can't just be that big without just, like, getting crazy and just, like, constantly eating. Like, it's like a full-time job to be that huge. Yeah, it's so expensive. Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, how do you... I guess you just your body gets kind of used to it, or you just feel sick all the time? Because if I... Like, had, I buy... I don't know. I buy a can of Pringles, and I expect it to last three or four days. Yeah. At least. At least. Yeah. Yeah. If I ate, if I ate like half a thing of Pringles, I would be sick. <laughs> yeah. I would be like not able to work. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh my God. You gotta eat other food too. Like if you're just sitting there eating Pringles, like if you eat a lot of, like I I've been eating this like rice and meat mixture thing, and if you eat all that, you can't eat Pringles. You're full. That's good. Oh man. Oh man. Did she, she was just eating, like, several at a time, too, huh? Must have been. Probably. Just like a stack. No, no, no. It's break time. No, 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 no. <laughs> eat, like, a whole stack, like, at a time. <laughs> like, I can't eat more. You don't eat more than one at a time. <laughs> Pouring them on her face. Yeah. You only eat one. You only uh, eat one. Bring them. Like, you eat, like, a stack. Like, you got to eat, like, four... Four, at least four or five at a time. Like, I guess. 
Uh. Wow. <laughs> True story. Were they different flavors? Two sour cream and onion can. The same flavor. And then, and then, uh, I was uh, talking, and my my friend leaned over and he said, "How can someone eat that much?" Yeah. And he was like from Nepal. Yeah. Wow. wow. <laughs> he said, yeah. He said, that's, a, that's, a that's he crazy. Said, like that. He's like he he just questioned. He didn't say like how could they eat that. He's just like really puzzled and looking at her like. What? <laughs> how is this possible? Are you seeing this? Am I tripping? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Am I tripping right now? Is this going on for real? Like. Yeah. Uh, like I don't know, man. She can be sick like her whole life. I think people are just sick. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Oh, jeez. Because she's already fat, and she's just like in the middle of the break room just eating two cans of Pringles. Yeah. Um, what do you, you got to eat some food. I That's what I always think, too, though, is that you can eat as much. I mean, not as much as you want, but, like, I was going to McDonald's. Like, I was telling people, I'm, I'm like, I'm going to McDonald's every day, and they're like, oh, my God, what are you, that's crazy. Yeah. But I'm like, I, I eat. I eat like one thing at McDonald's, and then I'm, I'm like, oh, that was a pretty good thing. Yeah. And then that's it, and, and you're fine. And then it's like. Sad thought though, maybe, maybe she's just really bad in nutrition. She's like, two cans of Pringles only cost three dollars. Yeah, but three dollars. I mean, if you want to go for that, it's like eat like a, you know, rice. I'm saying maybe she's just really dumb. Well, you. Yeah. That's really dumb. You got to be really dumb to get that to that point, or like have some kind of problem where you have a maybe a, a, a people have a, addictions because they have like maybe like they have like a, they were you know they have like bad bad things happen to them, so then they yeah. have to, and then they they become food addicts because they're trying to eat away the pain because they don't want to do they don't want to do drugs. Uh-huh. Because they're probably rednecks. Because they're, if they're somebody's gonna send them in into a hardware, like a corporate hardware store, and if they're they're yeah. like a traveling corporate hardware store manager, right? Like, like corporate oh. sent them there probably. Yep. From like Enumclaw. And yeah. Like, you're gonna go down. You're gonna manage that branch. <coughs> okay. And if you're already in that situation, then you're probably somebody who was abused. <laughs> And then you're gonna eat, and then you want to do. They don't want to do drugs. Like really, you should just do drugs. Yeah. It's better for your health. Probably. And then um. That's the problem. People do combinations of things. They they don't. They do the drugs, and then they stop brushing their teeth, and then they start eating a bunch of shitty food. Yeah, but you're like, I'm not gonna do the drugs. I'm gonna eat all this food all the time to try to drown <laughs> out my feelings. If you just did the drugs, but you led a healthy life otherwise, it would be good. Yeah. Um. That's sad for that person. What? And then they got they got fired. Were they? Did you ever talk to them? No. They weren't in your branch. I don't know where they are anymore, but I don't like them anyways. They're a bad person. You never talked to them in the first, like before though. They weren't your no, manager? What? It wasn't your manager? No, she was like assistant store manager or something. Did she talk to the crowd? Yeah, but everyone hated her because she was a huge bitch. <laughs> She's like, hey, our numbers, they're not doing too good. We got to do better, okay, team? We're a family. Yeah, and then personally, one-on-one, -on -one, she's like terrible. Yeah. And then you say like, "Hey, if you if you don't talk to me ever more, I'll bring you a hot dog." <laughs> yeah. If you never talk to me again, I'll bring you a hot dog. Do they, those people they stop calling you, huh? The, uh, the yeah, the, the Apple people at work, huh? I guess, but I've been. Well, fell off. I don't know what happened. That's okay. Well, look at these messages from the past.
Hello. 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 I hung up. Yeah, I hung up. What happened? You, 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 uh, you press a button? Yeah. Um, uh, don't eat too much. That's like. Yeah, okay, bye. Okay, bye. I'm queuing up this tape. I'm gonna go to today is um uh -oh. oh today is the fifteenth. We're gonna go back to the first. Oh wow. We're gonna look at all the month. That's what happens in the middle of the month. You get to look at the whole month. Today's Tuesday, Saturday, Friday the 4th, Thursday the 3rd, Wednesday the 2nd, and uh, Tuesday the 1st. Let's see how December has been for us. Wednesday and then Tuesday. Here it is, Tuesday. Yeah, no, right. okay, bye, Peter. There we go. We got hey, future, it's us in the past. If you think positive about the future, it's pretty sure that it's going to be positive. It's uh, Tuesday. We're talking to Mark. Uh, Mark is eating the barbecue. I got fried chicken. Grandma is asleep. Grandma's doing okay, though. Okay, bye, future. Alex, you watching still on YouTube? Hey, future. It's <laughs> the past. Hey, hey, future. We're, uh, we're here in the lobby trying to talk about the Cream of the County Awards, we've got a panel going here, we got Jackson? Hey, who's gonna win? Future. And how about you, Bird? Um, I'm, I, uh, was completely tuned out there. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's in the future. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, you, no messages. You need the no vaccine comment. yet, future? Bye. Bye. Hey, hey, future, it's us the past. What do you have to say to the future, Mr. Ginsu? Mr. Ginsu's not saying anything. He's not saying anything. Well, hey, future. Not saying anything. Um, hey, doctors are great. Doctors are really helpful, and they never give hodges to anybody. Yeah. Fuck you. I'll kick you in your cut. Hodges, doctor. Fucking hot juice, motherfucker. Bye, future. We're uh, cream of the county tomorrow, hot so juice. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm, I might be doing something that's unrecommended by the show. Ah! We'll see what happens. Hey, future says the past. Dan, what do you have to say to the future? Anything? Jackson. I'll get him next year. Bird. Who's here? We're doing the Cream of the County Awards. Say it again. Cream of the County Awards. Message Future. Are you? Oh, hello, Future. Uh, just uh, congratulations on making it. Kristen. you obviously did. Say the Future, Kristen. Yeah. Or not. You got you to gotta unmute yourself, Kristen. Say out of the Future. Cute dog. All right, bye, bye, future. I, mean, I think you might have to start pinning people, you know. Bye. Hey, future, it's us the past. Hi. Yo, fellas, on the phone. 
I'm talking about my life. Yeah, what about it? In the uh, Philly. Not Philly. <laughs> Not in Philly. Outside of Philly. So it's, it's, you know, it's a day, another normal day after. Yeah. My future. Hey, hey future, it's us the past. Oh, hi. Hello, future. Uh, do you work on a boat? Sunday. Uh, Talk to Andrew. Uh, Grandma's doing laps. Mr. Kenny Gu is changing his schedule next week. Yeah, how's that gonna be? Mr. Ginsu says tighten your gas cap. All right, bye, future. Bye. Hey, future, it's us the past. Hi. Hello, future. Ho, ho, ho. It's James got a Christmas tree. We're talking to Jeff and Mark. I gotta call Mark back. Um, what are we talking about? What? Uh, talking about Jeff with the G. Food and how the county awards are. The awards. Cream of the crop. All right, bye, future. Cream of the crop. Hey, future, it's us the past. Eat lots of Slurpees and pretty soon it'll be time to eat more. <laughs> it's Mr. Ginsu's 10 year uh, anniversary thing. I don't know, we talked to him and, since then. And uh, Mark eats, doesn't eat breakfast. What do you call yeah. it? What do you call the meals? Okay, bye, future. Eat breakfast, Mark. Hi, future. It's us, the past. Hey, future. The vaccine kill everybody. Everybody's dead. Uh, Mike Aiky called. It's Wednesday. 1 p.m. still, day two. Okay, bye, future. Hey, future. It's us, the past. Oh, hi, past. Mark, what do you have to say in the future? Well, if you eat your vegetables and eat some good food, drink lots of water, you're going to be pretty healthy. Mark needs an amp. It's uh, the first day of Hanukkah. Oh, how about Hanukkah? Yeah. I'm still in the basement. Hmm. All right. Does it, ever, does it ever get tiring down there? Yeah. yeah. Bye, future. Mm. Hey, future stuff of the past. The past. <laughs> it, it, we're, we're the past. You know, we're talking the future. What do you have to say to the future? John, uh, say uh, something uh, the future. Uh, uh, What's the best, John? What would you say is the best? Dairy Queen. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Dairy Queen. Uh, John's on the phone. Thanks, John. Bye, future. Bye. Hey, future touch the past. We're here in the past, living it up. Keep healthy and, and try to stay away from groups of people. Don't pawn things. Pawn shops. Don't go to a pawn shop if you don't need to. Only for buying. Yeah. yeah. Um, Freddy is trying to insulate his home. Uh, it's been a challenge. It's uh, Saturday and my work is closed because of the protest. Okay, bye, future. Bye. Hey, future, it's us of the past. Talking about um, the protests. Somebody got shot yesterday. Uh, Charlie Pride died. Charlie, yeah, Charlie Pride, rest in power. Talking to Andrew. Eating steak Jeff ramen. Didn't Talking like to Jeff. Falls too much. Jeff doesn't like Tumwater Falls. Jeff's John Webster's friend. Uh, okay, bye, future. <laughs> hey, 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 future, it's just the past. Hi, John. Hi. What do you have to say to the future? Uh, still trying to get a, uh, still trying to get a car. Uh-oh. Heather. Oh. Uh oh. Hello, how are the future? Yeah, yeah. Hi. He's struggling. 
We're doing it, Heather. I hope Future is still going to rest in I'm looking at the last message from the Future, and then we only have like two minutes left. Okay, bye, Future. Oh man. Bye, Heather. Well, here's here's what the message is. The message from the Future from today. You're looking at YouTube YouTube Live, huh? Hey, yeah. hey Future, that's the path. I tried to to get into the Google Meet, man, but you you never approved me. Oh, it really? timed me out. When? Earlier, like a little while ago. Oh, I did. I didn't see it even. <laughs> I definitely didn't not let you in on purpose. Oh, okay. No, I didn't. I figured. I figured <laughs> as much. I was, I was, you know, listening anyways. Yeah, I thought it would. Uh, I don't know. I, I missed the chime or something. Um, how are you? What are you doing? I'm pretty good. I'm just, uh, I'm actually, uh, I made a bunch of art recently, and so I'm cutting up some of this, like, styrofoam packing material stuff. It's like, it's like these big sheets of sty sort of this, like, styrofoamy type stuff. Uh -huh. I'm cutting it up and, uh, making, like, little sleeves to put the artwork into, because they're all in frames and stuff. I'm putting them into these nice little sleeves so they don't get dinged up. That's good. Yeah. You make you're making custom yeah. sleeves out of styrofoam. Yeah, and packing tape. Yeah, I just made I just made like thirteen collages and put them all in frames just Whoa. in the past couple of days or maybe two weeks or so. What are you gonna, What are you gonna do with them? I don't really know. It's like a pretty good collection. I was thinking maybe Arts Walk if they do if they do Arts Walk next year. <laughs> yeah, maybe really? I could. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, if Arts Walk ever comes should, back. Maybe I should just go throw a table on the sidewalk and like put them out and see if anybody buys them. Yeah. What I don't really of, know. Where, where'd you get the frames? Oh man, I just like around. Like I've been kicking around a bunch of frames. You know, you, like I've moved recently a couple times. And so uh, I have a bunch of just, I've ended up putting together a bunch of random empty frames that I just had just you put moved? them into this collection and so I just knocked them out with artwork. Did you move since uh, I saw your house at Shred Life? No, okay. no, but like in, in all the like shuffle around, like my parents kind of shuffled their sh stuff around too, you know, so between us all, I kind of took all these frames. I was like, oh, you know, I can do something with these and so I've yeah. just had them. All right. Well, hey, yeah. uh, you, called, you called at the end of the show. I know, man. I tried to get in earlier, oh, yeah. but next time I'll, 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 I'll get through. Next time, hopefully next I'll time hear I'll the beep. I don't know how I missed it. It's okay. No, okay. Harm, no harm done. Wait, did you go to YHWM, like the Google Meet, not the Zoom, right? You know about that. I went to the Google Meet, yeah, from oh. the link from the YouTube. Well, yeah. I missed it. So I'm going to be doing the show at 1 p.m. Uh, tomorrow, and then Thursday, 8.45 Friday and Saturday, 1 p.m. again. Uh, okay. Okay, well, I'll try to call on Thursday. At 8.45 p.m. Yeah. Okay, here's the credit. Thanks for watching. It's Tuesday. On TCTV, channel 22, 11, 30, 2 a.m. Why do you be on YouTube? Yeah. 360 336 call me message on TV. Uh, get on the meet if it works. Well, Horizons, good song, thank you. TC TV, La Bebe, Jordi E, Fabulous, Social Book, Sports Star Video, Softspot.com, Rebecca, Mercury Power Player, Mountain Boys Northwest, Miss Kelly wants to say USA, thank you, and yours. You're watching Mountain Boys Northwest, Alex. John Webster, hi. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dog. Bye. Bye. Bye.